LPG Collective. What's happening? Let's see what's going on with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. All right. Abundance? Personal readings in the description box. LovePeaceGenesis.com. Hit those likes. Hit those likes. Hit those likes. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already, all right? So we have surrender as well. So I'm a lim limitless being. I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. You absolutely can, collective. And then we have surrender. I release my needs of control. So some of you guys need to su surrender to your manifestations. You may be trying to manifest. We have envy. So are some of you guys envious of people that may be in a position that you want? Um, or people are envious of you. Wow, have that flipped over? Well, okay then. Um, of course, I'll take the top one. We have the seven of wands. Oh, okay then. The two of, I'm seeing the two of cups. I gotta make sure it's safe to show y'all before I show y'all. <laughs> Ooh, somebody may be jealous. The Two of Cups, the um, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Three of Swords. Ooh, I'm seeing the sun here on the bottom. So someone may be jealous around you, collective. Mm-hmm. Um, or someone may feel like um, the High Priestess. Someone may feel like there is some uh, competition uh, or you feel that way. What is going on? Because these cards are doing the absolute most. The three of pentacles. I'm seeing the devil here on the bottom. So yeah, some of you dealing with a Capricorn. Two Capricorn cards. Um, someone feels like too you might be keeping secrets. Or you're not you're not telling everything. I also feel like too, like collective, whatever you are working on or whatever successes you have i feel like keep them a secret for right now because you may have people around you that don't mean you well i just want to try to rain on your parade four of swords yeah that's the ultimate surrender here the star is showing up here on the bottom mm -hmm. you are you did surrender from something or someone or you have pulled away um, you have your guard up and your boundaries up with the situation as well. There's that sun card again. Um, I'm also seeing the fool, the hangman, and the five of pentacles. So this energy is you going towards something um, without a care in the world. <laughs> Page of pentacles. I feel like a collective, whoever's watching it, it's you. Like you're going towards something without a care um this the fool is already kind of like a surrender energy um but the hangman is also a surrender energy so a lot of energy of you just kind of letting go releasing and just kind of going for it um this could also be someone in your energy too so uh be mindful of that but i see you coming out on top like something you have wanted you're going to get and i feel like it's something you could have like let go of or you um you stop thinking about it as much. It doesn't mean you don't want it anymore, but I feel like you just kind of stop thinking about it as much and it's gonna come in like pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm seeing the Eight of Wands. The Ace of Wands, the Star. Mm -hmm. Now this, the Eight of Wands was under the Star. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Taurus Energy, okay? So, wow. Some of you are learning how to listen to your intuition, but I also see that, um, some of you may be starting to be seen more. Like people are starting to like kind of check for you. Two of Pentacles. So if you have like a product or something you're selling, I feel like people are going to start checking for you. And you didn't think it would happen. Like I feel like for a lot of you, you, you kind of was like, I'm going to keep doing it because I love it, but I don't know if this is ever going to take off or this is ever going to pick up. It definitely will, uh, Collective. King of Swords, yes. Now, here's this Nine of Swords here. So, I'm not sure if this is you or someone in your energy. Could be an Aquarius. Heavy Aquarius in, in the spread. I see Leo as well. Uh, 
Someone is feeling some type of way though, collective. Mm -hmm. It could be about your success. It could be about you moving on. Um, someone feels kind of left behind by you. Someone regrets not, um, not keeping you around. Let me give you an example because it could be love. It doesn't have to be, but I feel like it could be a friend. It could be anybody. So I'll use a lover as an example. Say you had a lover, right? And while you were with this lover, you were like, I want to start this business, right? So you start the business, you, you getting it up and y'all break up, right? Now, I feel like during the breakup, there may have been, um, you were still like kind of on the come up. So, you know, you wouldn't really seeing it come together yet. And, you know, you were just starting whatever, 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 or you were just starting to see some success from it. So I feel like y'all broke up and then, and again, it's just a scenario. This person kind of sees you, they're watching you, secretly watching you on social media or whatever. If, if they're close by, they're seeing you. Like if you have a store, they may drive by the store or whatever. And they see you doing it big and now they're upset because it's like, oh wow. So um, they started that when, when we were together or they started that when I was in their life. So, you know, they wouldn't be anywhere without me type of situation here. So yeah, you could have somebody kind of scoping, looking, um, you know, feeling like they should be a part of what you have going on because they were there for the start of it. But I don't feel like they were necessarily, necessarily there while you were building everything. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. It's like somebody kind of counted you out. Mm-hmm. The star. Some of you are about to start getting a lot of attention. Some of your business is about to pick up. If you're trying to date, your dating life is about to pick up. I feel like something around you collective is about to start picking up. Like in a huge way. And it's going to have people around you not happy about that. People around you jealous. Shame, ashamed, embarrassed, wishing they would have kept you around. Yeah. Ooh, some of you, this is a love thing. Mm -hmm. Four of Wands. Yeah. Someone feels like they should be a part of your success. Nine of Pentacles. Love it. King of Cups. Mm -hmm. Three of Pentacles. Queen of Cups on the bottom. So we do have a divine counterpart energy, but this could simply just be balance. You getting balance within yourself because the Two of Pentacles can be about balance. So some of you guys needed to learn how to balance your emotion and your logic. That's the, the epitome of the King of Cups. Um, or this could be someone in your energy that has been learning how to balance themselves out. Um, and not be too much in your head. Not to be too much in your head. Not to be too much in your emotions, but just right. Again, this could represent a partnership for some of you with the King and the Queen of Cups here. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or Cancer um, as well. But I feel like if it's not you, it's someone in your energy that's learning how to surrender. Someone wants to like compromise, work with you, um, like meet you halfway, whereas it may not have been that way before. It's like someone wants to be a part of your success. Somebody wants to be a part of your life, um, whereas they may not have appreciated it before because they didn't think that you would, you know, you would keep going. They didn't think that you would turn out the way that you turned out collective so now they're like uh oh <laughs> damn what did i miss out on yeah mm -hmm. whoever this is knows that they uh they they lost a good one whoever this is knows they lost a good one or they're losing out on a good one and this may not even be just a lover you guys this could be a friendship as well okay say so you had a friend that kind of did some shady shit I feel like this friend is going to be like, damn, like this was, this was a like fire ass friend. I don't have no other friends that, that, that treats me like this. I don't have no other friends that's like this. I don't have no other friends that is, uh, that's successful or doing this line of work or whatever the case may be. Um, somebody knows that they, somebody knows they lost out on, on a good one or they're losing out on a good one. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's see. I, I do want to pull a couple more to find out more.
Whoa, too many spirit, way too many. I'm seeing the Queen of Cups again. Wow. Someone may want to surrender to y'all's connection. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Queen of Pentacles. Somebody does. Ooh, child. Um, Six of Wands here on the bottom. Somebody does feel like they have missed out on you. Yep. Someone wants to be able to take care of you, too. Like, someone wants to be able to um, provide for you. Or someone sees you as a provider, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. Let me get one more. I have a couple more that I want to clarify. Whoa. Okay. The King of Wands. Now, I want to clarify this again. The Knight of Pentacles. I'm seeing the Emperor is sticking out here as well. Lots of masculine energies here. Uh, now, if you're dating, I will say this. It doesn't matter what your gender is. You are going to have quite a few people pursuing you. Quite a few people. Because you, your energy, the energy that you're giving off is... Um, very attractive to people and it makes sense with the surrender energy because once you surrender um, and you're no longer overthinking or in anxiety about something that's when everything starts coming into you i'm just seeing you just being poured in with blessings attention um but like i said there's there's someone here though that's not happy about that because i feel like this person kind of felt like i don't i don't want to say they expected you to fail but i feel like they didn't expect you to to turn out this like this um yeah mm -hmm. so you do have somebody here that is um you have more than one person here i'm just gonna keep it a buck but you do have a person here especially with this envy card and next to the nine of with this nine of swords here on the bottom that is feeling some type of way because you are moving on and some of you you kind of keep your successes private like you don't you don't plaster what you're doing all over the place. So I feel like this person isn't totally sure what you're doing either. They don't know everything. They just know that you're doing well. Okay, so, but if that's not the case, I feel like Spirit is kind of saying with this high priestess here, kind of keep it a secret or let other people speak good on your name. You know what I mean? Let people wonder, um, you know, what's going on with you. You don't have to tell everybody everything all the time, which I feel like whoever I'm picking up on, y'all don't tell everything all the time. Um, y'all, y'all leave people wondering a lot. <laughs> All right. So let me get, do I want to get, well, yeah, let me get a couple of money cards. This it is money Monday. Let's get that. Then I will get, um, I don't want to do handwritten. I'll just get a couple of the money, money cards. As it is money Monday, I will do that. Okay. And then, um. That's it. All right, let's pull a couple of these. Especially, oh yeah, any the abundance come out. So yeah, let me let me do the money deck. But I feel like you're about to be poured with blessings, uh, collective. And I I feel like you you do have somebody here that feels like they should be a part of it. They need to be in on this. Um, but you have other people checking for you. I will say that because you're really living in your truth. You're learning how to be your authentic self. And people are loving it. Let's get a couple more of these, Spirit. Thank you. I think I'm going to do three. Three was calling out to me. Oh, Oh, I'm good. Oh, y'all, wait till I say. Oh, wait till I read you this card. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious! Let me get one more spirit, please, and thank you. And then I'll check the bottom of the deck as well. Okay, so I saw this one and the other one. All right, so, all right, so um, on the bottom we got big fish. You, was, I'm seeing a lot of them that I saw earlier. With the big fish reeling them in, told you, I told baby, I told you, you reeling them on in collective. Okay, good impression on the hook, great catch, lucrative deals. I told you, multiple people are gonna see that you're a catch. Okay, and if this is about 
business and clientele and work and your employer. I mean, people are just going to be super drawn to you uh, because of this energy. So we have Sister Moon. And this is guided to the light. Hidden opportunities. I told you there's something hidden. Dark places. Emerging in full plate. Love it. Then we have, this is the one I was like, wow, really? This one is clever ploy. Step up your game. Out with them. Negotiate. Wise tactics and behind the scenes. So I told you, some of you guys need to kind of, for now, keep what you're doing a secret. Because you got people around you that may not, may not mean you well right now. They're kind of haters. They're jealous um, because of what you have going on. People feeling like they're, they're owed something just because they knew you when you started out. Or whatever the case may, may be. Affluence. It's an influx of abundance. <laughs> Let me quick. So this is quick cash, deep pockets. Um... Assets, Patron, and Money Flow. Baby, I love it. All right? Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Collective. Everybody. Everybody. Um, thank you for watching, y'all. Peace out.